Hello, 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 and welcome to another Character Education. My name is Corey, and we are excited that you are here today. This is the place where kids and, and teachers and everyone come to learn a big idea, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. We're going to dive right into this big idea, and that's something that grows inside of you to change the world around you. So let's just start off by saying this month's big idea definition. Here we go. One, two, three. Everyone read it with me. Trust is putting your confidence in someone you can depend on. Now, this week, we're going to... This this week, we're... Everyone, this is uh, my co-host, Shannon, and not just someone who's climbed out of bed and randomly stumbled into the set. Uh, maybe, maybe... Shannon? What are you doing? What are you doing? You scared me, man. You scared me. You scared me. I'm just trying to make sure that everything is good and looks good and... Okay. Everything's good. It's, it's good, Corey. Don't worry. Everything's... Wait. Everything's good. You're in your... It's, Pajamas. Uh. <laughs> and man, you look like, you, you look rough. You look like you haven't slept in days. It's, uh, because I haven't, Corey. <laughs> I'm so tired. Why haven't you slept? Ever since that, you know, that camping trip we took? Mm -hmm. And I, I keep having that same nightmare mm. over and over and over. It's terrifying. Um, that camping trip, that was like a while ago. Yeah, but... What was this nightmare again? It's... It's a little embarrassing. It's the one about that... There's this giant s'more. He's chasing me around. And um, he's wanting to roast me over a campfire while singing um, Baby Shark. Yeah? Yeah, uh, it's terrifying. <clears throat> so you just keep dreaming... <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, You keep dreaming about a uh, giant s'more chasing mm -hmm. you <laughs> Around the campfire. Yeah, while leading Baby Shark. Didn't you hear what I said? Yes, um, but he's leading it, so who's singing with him? Um, Smokey Bear and Jiminy the Cricket. S who? Smokey Bear and Jiminy the Cricket. Okay, and you haven't slept since the... It's been, that's been a long, it's been a couple months. I know, Corey. Like, tell me about it. That's the whole point. I'm exhausted. Okay, Shannon, now you're going to have to trust me, uh, which is great because this is what we're talking about this month, trust. But uh, I, I promise you, Smokey the Bear and Jiminy Cricket, they're not going to be singing. There's, there's no roasting marshmallows, uh, Corey, no campfire. I get that. I understand. But I'm telling you, every time I close my eyes, all I can hear is, baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark, do 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 do, when you wish upon, baby shark, do 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 do, only you can prevent forest fires, baby shark, do do. It's terrifying, Corey. Yes, it sounds very terrifying when you sing it. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. Um, you got to trust me on this one. I want you to just like relax for a minute and close Co your eyes. I don't, Corey. You can I want do it. to. You can do it. I don't want you to. You can do it. Just I, Corey, I don't want to. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Yep, I'm right okay. here. I'm not leaving. And okay. take a couple of deep breaths and uh, relax. It's okay. It's okay. That was a lot easier than I expected. <clears throat> okay, well, like I was saying before... Mr. Snores or S'mores came out here. This month's big idea is trust. And we're going to be putting our confidence in, in someone you can depend on. And specifically today, we're going to be talking about how we need, can trust other people and how we need to be trustworthy ourselves. And it's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm going to let him sleep. You guys check out your next video. What's up, everybody? It's me your good buddy, Sam, and I am back to tell you about our big idea this month. And trust me, it's a good one. In fact, it's trust. Let me demonstrate it for you. Have you ever seen a trust fall? I know you're like, what? Uh, uh, it's right there. Uh, it's where one person stands with their back to another 
or a group of people and then slowly falls over backwards trusting that the people or the person will catch them. You know what I mean? It's like, uh... It can be a scary thing for just a couple of seconds as you wait for the people's hands to reach you. It means wow. Now for a trust fall to work, the person falling has to have confidence that the person or the people behind them will catch them before they hit the ground. And the people behind them have to be trustworthy, or in other words, they have to have shown the faller that they will do what they promised that they would do. So what if you were a trust fall catcher? Have you shown your friends and classmates that you can be trusted? Do people actually believe you? Do they know that you will do what you've said you'll do? And what if you are a trust faller? Do you have people around you that you can trust? Are your friends the kind of people who will make sure you're okay and keep you safe? This month, we're going to spend some time figuring out what it means to trust people and what it means to be the kind of person other people can trust. This is huge. So each month, we have a tradition, and that is to lean in real close and say the big idea together. You know what I'm saying, we, we, we lean in and we get loud. So here we go, lean in, get ready, say it with me. Trust is putting your confidence in someone you can depend on. That was, that was okay, it was like a five out of 10, I need like an 11 out of 10. Let's do it again, repeat it one more time, real loud. Trust is putting your confidence in someone you can depend on. Great job, I'll trust, I'll see you next month. What's up guys, it's Keith here, and we're gonna play a game about trust. Who here this morning knows anything about laws? We have Andrew and Sam here to see how much they know about laws along with you guys also. One of the things that helps us live in society with each other is our trust in the law. It's hard to believe, I know, but sometimes there are laws that don't really make much sense. That's why this month, since we are talking about trust, it's a perfect time to play What's the Real Law? Yeah! Exactly. To play this game, it's pretty simple. I'm going to read you a statement about a law, but only one answer is true. It's multiple choice, and two answers will be false. Now, raise your hand, and on the letter you think is the real law after I've read all the answers aloud. I'll go back and repeat the letters and answers for you to raise your hands. You can get help from your neighbor or teacher if you trust them. That's a big word, trust. I'm going to try and help Andrew and Sam at the same time a little bit. So are you guys ready to play? Okay, here we go. Here's the first law. In North Carolina, it's illegal for these to last more than five hours. Is it A, half off dinner specials? Is it B, bingo games? Or is it C, showers? Hmm. Half off dinner games. Raise your hand if you think it's A, half off dinner games or dinner specials. Hmm. Raise your hand if you think it's B, bingo games. Hmm. Or raise your hand if you think C is correct, showers. I think it's C. Yeah, I think it's C. I think it's C. All right, let's see what the correct answer is. The correct answer is B, Andrew, it's B. B is the correct answer, it's bingo. I was trying to help you. It's B, you gotta trust me, Andrew. Okay, all right, let's do it. Okay, let's all right, it. here's the second one. In Quitman, Georgia, A, chickens aren't allowed to cross the road. It's fairly plausible. B, cats cannot be curious after 8 p.m. That's pretty crazy. Or is it C, alligators cannot see you later? So if you think it's A, raise your hand. Chickens aren't allowed to cross the road. If you think it's B, then raise your hand. Cats cannot be curious after 8 p.m. Or if you think it's C, raise your hand. Alligators cannot see you later. No, it's, it's A. So what do you guys think it is? Think it's A? It's Let's a. see. It's A. The correct answer is A, chickens can't cross the road. Woo! Nice. Yeah, good job, guys. You that, hey, you did. That's awesome. Good job. 
Alligators can always see you later, and cats are always curious. But in Quibbin, Georgia, chickens have to stay in their lanes. Last question. Here it is, the big one. Now, this is in the state of Washington. Not Washington, D.C., the capital, but in the state of Washington. You can be arrested or fined for harassing, A, science teachers, B, Bigfoot, or C, earthworms. You can be fined or arrested for harassing A, science teachers, B, Bigfoot, or C, earthworms. So raise your hands if you think it's A, science teachers. Raise your hands if you think it's B, Bigfoot. Definitely B. Oh, wow. Definitely. Or raise your hands if you think it's C, earthworms. No way. The correct answer is B, mm. Bigfoot. You guys yeah. are rock stars. You're awesome. I personally don't know, or I don't think that you should harass any of them, but Bigfoot is really off limits. So how did you guys do? Andrew, Sam, you seem to trust me on my suggestions, but maybe this wasn't the easiest game to trust others with their answers. Those are some pretty crazy laws, but it's a great idea to trust the law. Guys, have an awesome day, and we will see you next time. Peace. Kids, I'm lost in blah, 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 blah. and sometimes I like to pretend everything is underwater. Blah, 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 blah. You guys are all marine life. Blah, blah, blah. I see clownfish, a couple of jellyfish, an octopus, blah, 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 blah. and and shark. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna stay above water for now. Because I've got a great story to tell you from this kid, Dylan, who's in my dad's scout troop. Now, Dylan's been brushing up on his swimming skills all summer so he can be on the swim team at school. He's worked on the front crawl and the back stroke and the butterfly and the whale flop and the duck build platypus trot and even the Loch Ness Monster Mash. Dad says Dylan's done every single thing he needs to make the swim team. Everything except jumping off the high dive. The high dive at Dylan's pool is extra high. Like, like Mount Everest high. Dylan protests, I can't. And dad assures him, you'll be fine. Trust me. So Dylan starts to climb the ladder. Higher and higher and higher and higher. And finally, he reaches the diving board. Way up in the clouds, all the way to outer space. Dylan's dad shouts up, you can do it. It's so far down. Dylan's dad looks like an ant. Dylan gasps, <gasps> I can't. But dad yells, trust me. Dylan knows his dad is right there. So he braces himself and takes a deep breath <gasps> and jumps. He hits the water so hard, it causes a tsunami. And then he finally comes up for air Dad says, great job. And Dylan's like, I want to go again. And he spent the rest of the afternoon jumping off the high dive. So many times he turns into Aquaman. So kids, always be kind to superheroes. And remember that trust is putting your confidence in someone you can depend on. Hey mom, can I trust that you've got lunch ready? Actually, I trust I've given you the skills to make a few sandwiches by yourself. Right. Uh, oh, do you want PB&J or fish sandwiches? Ooh, 
PB&J on a fish sandwich. Great idea, Mom. I'll get on it. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, everyone. I'm super excited to talk to you a little bit more about our big idea for this month. But before we get to the teaching, let's go over the definition one more time. Repeat this after me. Trust. Putting your confidence in someone you can depend on. That's right. Now, I was hoping to do a little demonstration up here, but I'm going to need some help. Oh, yeah. Dancing, dancing. Oh, oh, oh. Kristen, hey, are you doing the teaching today? Well, I was trying to. What are you doing? Uh, just busting a move. You know, I love my jams. Wait, if you're, if you're doing the teaching, can I help? Oh, Kristen, you have to, have to pick me. Please pick me, pick me, pick me, please. Okay, but it seems like you're a little hyper. Oh, uh, okay, fine. Like, I just had a cup of coffee backstage with a little bit of Red Bull in it. Well, whoever does help me gets to get a gift or actually a treat when I'm done. A treat? That's, okay. That's awesome, Kristen. You have to pick me now. Okay, well, like I said, you seem a little hyper, and whoever helps me has to say very very still. Can you do that? Can I do that? Sure. Sure I can. I'll just turn my music off. I'll have no problem. Okay, I guess. Why don't we ask Victor to help us, too, to hold this other gift, and we'll get started. You sure I can trust you? Of course you can, Kristen. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, I can't tell you what's in the gift, but I can tell you as soon as I'm done talking. Okay. In just a second, you'll be able to open the gift and enjoy the treat that's inside, okay? There's one thing that's very important, and that is I need you to stay still, okay? It's very important that you keep your body in one spot while I talk. Stay, and this word's very important, consistent. Can you do that? What? Why do you want us to be prideful, Kristen? I said consistent, not conceited. Consistent oh. just means the same over time, basically. Can you do that? Oh, I got that. Sure, I can. Hold on. Let me just get my statue self ready. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So we have my helpers here. Let's talk about trust. When we're talking about putting your confidence in someone you can depend on, we might end up asking two questions. How do I know who I can trust? And how do people know that they can trust me? The truth is, we all might have had our trust shaken. Uh, Tucker, Tucker, Tucker. Oh, 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 um, I must have hit the, I must have hit the airplay on my phone and it was playing music. You know me, just gotta dance. Okay, Tucker, do you remember I said it was very important that you stand still? Good job, Tucker. Yes. Victor. You were just dancing. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I, I got it now. Stay still. You can go ahead. Okay, let's see. Where was I? Oh, yes. Um, I remember. When we all put our confidence in someone and we all want to be someone who other people can depend on. But what happens when our trust is shown? Tucker! Oh, I did it again. <sighs> oh, my god! I just love to dance. I was shaking the gift, wasn't I? I'm sorry. Is there something fragile in here? No, not really. It's a treat for helping me with the story. Oh, well, if it's not fragile, if it can't break, what's the big deal if I shake it? I can't tell you because then I'll ruin the surprise of what's inside for Victor. I just need you to trust me. Why? Because we've been friends for a long time. Because I'm trying to teach the kids here about our big idea. Because I know what's in the box and you don't. There are lots of reasons to trust me, but part of that trust involves not shaking the box. Okay, I guess. I mean, I don't get what the big deal is. I want you to enjoy the gift, but now I don't know if you'll want what's inside. Of course I will. I'll love it. I was just dancing. It's not that big of a deal. You're saying no matter what's inside, you'll enjoy it right when we're done? Sure. Okay, let me get back to it. So. When we're talking about trust, we all want to be people who are trustworthy, and we all want to have people who, who can trust us. But what happens when our trust is shaken? Ah! Uh, oh, oh my bad. You were saying something about having your trust shaken. Uh-huh. I tell you what. Why don't you both open your gifts now? Uh. 
sweet. It's my favorite drink. Oh. It's my favorite soda. It's my favorite drink. You said you'd like to enjoy that right now, right? Go ahead. Why don't you? Why don't you open it? Um, I, I guess this soda isn't very good now. You didn't know all that dancing could cause such a mess, did you? You know who did? Go ahead, open it. You, you did. Oh, yep, gosh. I did. <laughs> like I said, you should have trusted me. Thank you, Victor. Enjoy your soda. So, before we talk about Tucker's soda, let me ask you, why did you want to switch with Victor? Well, he stayed still the whole time. I knew his soda would be safe to open and not fizz over like mine did. Exactly. There's a quote I want to share with you, and then I think we'll understand how your soda has to do with the big idea of trust. Remember when I said at the beginning I needed you to stay consistent? Mm -hmm. An author named Roy Bennett said this, Consistency is the true foundation of trust. Either keep your promises or do not make them. See, what Bennett was trying to say is that when we put our trust in people, it should be based upon those people being consistent, proving that they act the same over time. We want you to look for people who think about the consequences of their choices and make smart decisions. We want to look for people who are kind and treat others right. Mm -hmm. We want to look for people who always try their best and are honest yeah. when they make mistakes. People who maximize their potential. So you're saying that just like I knew by watching what happened to my soda and Victor's, I knew which one I'd rather open. Exactly. And when we watch the people around us, if we're paying attention, we know the people we should trust and the people we maybe can't trust or maybe we just need to watch a little closer. Yeah, because it could be dangerous to just blindly trust somebody. It can. Just like that soda. Cause a big mess or even get someone hurt. The truth is, though, we all can act or do things that we might not want to. See, consistency doesn't mean we're perfect. It just means we're consistent or the same over time. For instance, if you'd waited an hour or two hours, would you feel comfortable opening that soda? Sure. Even though it had been shaken up, even though I shook it up, uh, sitting still would, would have made it safe again. Yes. And if we mess up or let someone down, the best thing to do is own up to it and then prove we can be trustworthy. However, just like the soda... That can take time. Well, Kristen, thanks for letting me help uh, with your teaching. Sorry I didn't trust you. It's no problem. Hey, why don't you have the kids repeat the definition after you? Awesome, sure. Repeat this after me. Trust. Putting your confidence in someone you can depend on. That was awesome. All right, y'all have a great day. And this here is my beatboxing partner, Seamus, be very famous. Say hi to him, Seamus. <laughs> Woo! This month is about trust, and that's putting your confidence in someone you can depend on. And today I'm trusting Seamus here to teach me how to roll a blade, right, Seamus? Hey. Well, well, go ahead then, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead then. Ah! Ah, no, don't leave me! Hi, hi, no. hi, hi, okay. hi, 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 right, hi, right, hi, right, 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 you already told me about safety first and all that stuff, but why are why we're wearing this stuff, but what about actually skating and doing all these things? Hi, okay, hi, 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 I know how to stand, Seamus, let's get to blading and show me how to alley-oop and get ready for some major grinding. Hi. I... No, forget it. I'll just do it myself. Here, help me turn around. Here we go. All right. Forward. Shamus! You never taught me how to stop, I think the best thing to do now is to do a rap about this with as little movement as possible. Kick it. 
I should have followed Seamus lead to his words I should have heed, but my arms instead did bust, cause I did not depend on someone whom I could, that's right, trust. Word. You know, Seamus, I, I got impatient there and I, I should have trusted you to teach me how to rollerblade. I'm sorry there, my friend. Hey. Come on, I'll, I'll go get you a soda pop. Uh, Turn. Turn. Well, I hope Shannon got a little nap in and I hope Tucker learned how to pay more attention to those that are close to him to realize who he can trust. And hopefully today, you learned a little bit more about how trust works in our lives. Knowing who to trust and how you can be trustworthy is something important to keep us safe and also to have just healthy relationships. It's today's big idea. So let's repeat it one more time. Repeat after me, trust. Putting your confidence and someone you can depend on. See you next month. Trust is the foundation of relationships. It's you I can depend on. I give you my confidence. Trust holds friends together like glue. You. you trust me and I trust you. We both do our best to tell the truth when it's not the easy thing to do. Honesty can build a burn bridges. All it takes is one small sentence. You don't speak unless the truth is in it. If you're in, sing it with us. T I U S T. You can trust in me. Trustworthy. Yeah.